The three people you can see on your screen right now are currently unidentified. Two on bikes, one on foot, they're within the Turnpike Lane area of North London, lingering around. You'll notice one of them has a distinctive jacket. Moments later, Mohammed Ahmed was shot dead close to Turnpike Lane Tube Station. He was just 23 years old. Police believe it was a retaliation attack from a shooting that had happened in the Park Lane area a short period beforehand. A man had been injured in that attack. May 28, 2021 marked the day of Mohammed's death. And just over one year on, his murder remains a mystery, just like many others across London. The only lead police have is those three mystery men in question. They're thought to have been the direct perpetrators or have information about the people involved. Take a look at this CCTV footage. It happened moments after the Park Lane shooting. This was the shooting just prior to Mohammed being shot dead. The man in the distinctive jacket appears to be dropping the injured person off at a local hospital before fleeing. Of course, you then know what happens next. Police wish to speak to the three mystery men, but seeing as a year has passed, it looks as if the feeling isn't mutual. So far in the police investigation, it's turned up nothing. In June of 2021, a 31-year-old man was arrested on suspicion of murder, but was later released under investigation. And that's pretty much it. It seems like we're no closer to solving this murder mystery, hence why the police have recently released CCTV footage, urging any of those three to step forward. The lead detective in the case had this to say, Though a year has passed, the determination of my team to find and bring to justice those responsible for this senseless killing remains undiminished. We suspect it was connected to an earlier firearms discharge in Park Lane, N17, that left a man injured. We believe friends of that man took him to hospital and then travelled onto Turnpike Lane in a Honda Civic, happening upon Mohammed in Ducats Common before firing shots from the car and fleeing. I've seen time and again that members of the public want to work with us to remove violent criminals from their streets, and I have no doubt there will be people who can help us here. Local reports at the time of the incident show how much of a common occurrence violent crime is within that specific area of North London. Take a listen to one testimony. It's a genuine cause for concern. No one should have to live with this in their community. A local shop owner said, It's Turnpike Lane. This is normal. If you stay here until midnight, someone will be dead. When asked if he and the community seem shocked, he said they get used to it. If they can move, they move. If they can't, they stay. At the time, local reports said that a drone music video shoot took place, but police haven't made any comment in relation to it, so it could be unrelated to the shooting. But locals at the time told reporters that a video shoot had happened close by to Turnpike Lane, just prior to the shooting taking place, a rough four-minute walk from where the crime scene was. They did say, however, it was unclear who was involved in the music shoot, and again, whether it was connected remains unknown. I highly doubt it, though, just due to the fact that police are saying that this shooting was a retaliation attack from that shooting on Park Lane. If I do get any updates coming from this situation though, as always, I will keep you guys posted on this one. For now though, give the video a like for more crime related content like this. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Poncho, and I'll see you in the next one.